All right, joining us right now is Bill Krakenberger and Ben King, Showtime's action show, Crack Wins app. Welcome. I'm excited to talk to you both because I'm intrigued by this app. You guys have only had it up for six months. You've got 20,000 members already. Okay, so tell me, first of all, tell me about the app. How did you guys conceptualize this? Well, you know, to be honest, I, I, I personally uh, seen a lot of things changing in the market. A lot of different jurisdictions now have sports betting. Sports betting is going viral. It's going to be eventually in, across the United States in every single state. And um, I knew there was a lot of people out there, just like I said on Showtime, a lot of the snake oil salesmen, a lot of charlatans. Uh, Twitter's full of people that are talking, have talking heads and talking about games and, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of fake stuff going on there. So I wanted to bring something that my 25 year career uh, of betting sports, I wanted to bring something real to the to the to the, you know, the customers, the buyers, uh, and uh, just to look at the users of the app. So let's talk real quickly, Bill, because you're actually giving people advice, but you're also making bets, right? I give the advice that I personally bet. I don't think there's anyone else out there that does that. I'm actually personally betting the games, and I'm giving the advice at the same time. Sometimes I'll actually know that something I give out is going to move so far in the end, it's, it's going to have a giant movement on it. I'll give it to the customer, customers. I won't even get a chance to bet it. Yeah, and that's one. That's one of the really th important things that makes cracks, crack wins uh, so unique. So, again, there's a lot of people who offer betting advice uh, or who say, "Hey, this is a great pick." Bill's done this for a living for the last 30 years and has consistently won overtime betting hundreds and hundreds of games across over a dozen sports every month. So there's only a few people walking the planet that actually can do this and make a living. So the whole vision behind Crack Wins is sharing the insider's edge and expertise that Bill has based on what he's done to the betting public. So, so Ben, tell me your role in all this and how do you guys know each other? Sure, so we've known each other for about 15 years. One of our other business partners has worked with Bill for a long time and is a friend of mine. And so when we started developing the app, um, obviously we needed to expand our team. I've been working in tech and media for a long time. So I'm the person that came on board to help sort of conceptualize the operation of the business and help bring the app to market. Bill, how accurate are you? Prediction wise? Yeah. You know, it's not what you think, you know, because of those snake oil salesmen and the charlatans that are advertising 60, 70 percent, you know, to make money in the sports betting market, you have to win 52.38. That's the mathematical number to overcome to make money in the market. We're hitting more in the high 50s, 57, 58 percent, just like Jimmy Vaccaro was a giant in this industry set on action. 55 percent is a giant year to have. So I've had a 55 percent year. It's one of my lower years, though. Uh, but I definitely don't have years of, no one does, 65, So you're 70%. winning more than you're losing. Oh, of course, line. absolutely. And, and so when you're, I'm just curious, when you're actually deciding on how to do your bed, do you have like a sort of ritual? Do you, do you get a spreadsheet? Do you have, what do you do? It's more model based too. It's not what you think. You know, uh, everyone is looking at different uh, web, uh, you know, stations Stats, on yeah. TV yeah, yeah. and they're reading their local yeah. newspapers even. Um, of course, now it's all on, on the internet now. So it's not listening to the talking heads that are on the other networks. Uh, this is more of an actual algorithm. It's more of a model. And then you have the human element of it too. You can't just have a model based. You have to have a human element that takes into consideration weather, injuries, some personal things that you need to, to actually tweak to make sure you're, you're giving out the right information. Yeah, and just to add to that, I think one of the things that's really important about what Bill does is he's taking all these various sources of information. He's taking analytics, he's taking AI based modeling. Um, he's taking into account all the other important factors and expertise that go into making um, sound bets. But then on top of that, Bill knows the marketplace and the lines better than probably anyone in the entire business. So our users will see, we may not win all the time, but 98% of the time we're gonna be on the right side of the line and often on, by a pretty wide margin. So the closing line value that our users get, if we issue a total at uh, and get on a total at 43 over, you know, you'll see within a, a pretty short period of time, within minutes, that that total will go up to 45 or 46. So that's there's a lot of value because Bill just knows control. the marketplace. I, I wish I didn't though. I wish it actually didn't wasn't yeah. like that. To be honest with you, Ben. Um, unfortunately, it is though. Right now, we're we're, we're so popular. We're getting there, and uh, we're, we're controlling the market. So if I bet something, especially on a small market like WNBA or, or some golf matchups or something, it's yeah. a smaller market, not like NFL. Stuff's going to move after I give it out. Definitely, it's going to move in our favor. So in other words, if I bet a game minus three and you wanted to tail me, and you wanted to bet a game on Saturdays, hey, who are you on, Crack? I say, well, you can bet this game, but it's minus four now. 
So that, that, that's the advantage of having in the beginning of getting on. Yeah, being, being a member. And, and, yes. And, and correct me, uh, the members don't actually place bets through your app. No, 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 no. We're purely sports information and betting. There's there's obviously paid subscription packages for, for Bill's picks, but also there's a ton of information. You just need to be a free registered user free or a free user. Yeah, there's ton, we have articles, primers. So again, part of the project here and the passionate uh, vision that Bill has for this is to make sure that bettors just get smarter better educated because again, there's a lot of bad advice out there. There's a lot of people taking advantage of betters out in the marketplace. And that's a trend we'll continue to see as sports betting becomes even more popular. So, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the app has tons of free stuff. Great free articles on bankroll management. Yeah, free articles of what I have done in my 25, 30 year playbook. I'm actually giving out for free on the app and letting people learn off of, off of my mistakes even. Is this a natural gift? I mean, how did you get started in doing this bill? When you grow up back east, the family I grew up in, <laughs> No matter what, it's like a rite of passage, sports betting or gambling in general. I grew up on a boardwalk town. My friends were out, you know, drinking, having fun on the beach, and the, I was always hustling something, working, working, uh, always, always working to make money. Betting sports from a young age, pitching quarters behind a post office, playing cards, playing head-to-head -head blackjack with my friends in, in the garage. Um, yeah, I was gonna say you're the kind of person like you, you fit the epitome of somebody you want to ask and get the opinion out whenever you're making a bet. Like, yes. I, you know, like, cause you're that whole Jersey vibe, everything sure, about you. Sure. And, and, about and you. trust me, I, I was a regular guy in the beginning. I learned a lot. Of, I learned off my mistakes in the beginning and other mistakes. I, I literally have no gamble in me now. Some people have known, have said to me, you know, I'm the gambler that gambles without gambling. You know, I, I really don't have the gamble to me. Uh, I'm just looking to, to win. I'm just looking to make money. I'm looking to make money for me and, and, and my uh, crack win. Yeah, yeah. And that's something we've been very thoughtful about with, with the app and with the entire business is, I mean, Bill, Bill is really authentic. I mean, what you see is what you get. And he's done this and gutted out winning over 25 years plus. There's almost no one that can do that uh, and make a living that way. So what you see is what you get. And our brand is all around Bill and the authenticity of who he is, as well as his expertise. I'm gonna ask you guys about artificial intelligence because I've talked to a couple of people here who are these AI experts, you know, and and I'm just curious, do you, do you ever think there will come a time or a day where a computer will be able to make the bet better than, than a human? I mean, you, obviously you can't take away the emotion, you can't add emotion to that. What's your thoughts about that? You know, I actually grew up in this business, uh, sports betting, and from, a, from, a, from an early age, the first advantage computer models we're, we're actually from Monmouth College, New Jersey, uh, and, and, this, and the, the, they're called syndicate groups. The first syndicate groups you could do searches on. So this is back in the early 80s. So it's amazing, those old big IBM computers um, spitting out uh, artificial intelligence on sports betting. So actually, I grew up always knowing about this and knowing there was a computer model. The first group was called the computer group. And uh, so I, I actually grew up around this. Uh, I, I always knew it was there. But with the with the invention of the internet, there's so many different levels of this. Uh, I, I think that I am dealing with my partners, and, and I have to. I really believe I have the best information in the world. I mean, it's it's it's, it's true. I, I I've been you know uh, not thrown out, but I've been limited or or even thrown out of so many sports books just for betting, just for using my brain, nothing else, I'm not doing anything wrong or illegal. Just betting. Yeah, I mean, I think the answer to your question is, look, AI is going to continue to play more and more of a role. It already does. I mean, with what Bill does, you know, the modeling is very sophisticated and makes use of that. At the end, you still have to have someone with, I think, Bill or human beings expertise and pattern recognition of just how the market is moving and making the calls. I think it's just like, you know, investing or the stock market where there'll be a ton of machinery that that does a lot of work and creates a lot of sophisticated insights. But at the end, you still need a human being there. I don't think there's anyone that replaces a Bill Krakenberger uh, when it comes to taking that information and no, actually acting on it. There's not another Bill out there, that's for sure. Um, uh, let's talk about also, speaking of which, there's something that AI cannot predict also, and that is something that happened at the Kentucky Derby, <laughs> as we know, last year, right, with the disqualification of maximum security. Yep. Uh, I just want to get your thoughts on that. That was the right decision, though. There's a rule. So if you have a $10,000 claiming race, a smaller race, or if you have a million-dollar Kentucky Derby, the rules are the rules. They shouldn't change because something is more under a microscope or something is more in the public view, in the public eye. So I, I absolutely agree with that decision. And, uh, you know, it, it's the right, it was the right decision. 
A lot of people you're, didn't think you're it. You're a rule keeper. <laughs> a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of people didn't think, of course people don't agree with it. Yeah. It was a favorite of the race. Yeah. It was a giant favorite. Of course they're going against, because most people had that horse. Who's, who had the other one, the real long shot that won? Of course you're going to only hear the boos and the echoes. You don't hear the little guys that had $2 or $10 to win on the long shot. The, the voice that, and, and plus it's a good subject, the big derby, controversy. Yeah, controversy. But it was the right decision. It was the right decision in my, in my eyes. All right, I can see Ben Everett is keeping his mouth very, very closed. He's like not talking. Oh, no, I'm anymore. not. I mean, on the Kentucky Derby, I agree with Bill completely. It was the right decision. It was clear interference. Yeah. So it's the right call. Now, it was fun, actually, because it did sort of shake up what can be a kind of a stodgier type of event, the Derby and, and all that. Let's have a little controversy once in a while, not just a bunch of mint juleps and seersucker suits and pretty looking hats. Let's let's get some let's get a little we extra don't do action. Horses either, though. You know, but well, horses is, is a 25 percent house edge yeah, on the exotic yeah. trifectas. We're, we're betting sports, which has a four and a half percent edge, uh, a lower hold. So horse racing, even though it's it's, it's a giant thing. It's just not what we do. It's so hard to overcome 15 to 25 to even 30 percent households, yep. house yep. edges. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one thing the betting public doesn't realize is even if you do everything right in any one given sports bet, right, you're taking one to five percent edge over the house. Right. So if you thought about it as equivalent of like blackjack or table game, right, Bill, with his sort of information, his expertise, you're still only, you know, sort of having a one to five percent edge on any given game, which means you need smart money management. Sure. Right. And you need repeatable winning over time consistently to really make money, which is exactly what Bill does and what our users come along the ride for. Very cool. Anything else you guys want to tell me? Having a good time good. in Vegas these yeah. couple of days? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as always, it's great. Um, listen, everyone should go out and, tr and definitely take a look at Crack Wins. Uh, yeah, that's, download the app. It's download free. the app. It's free. Free, free. Register. Free yep, yep. You'll get a free pick a week for the first month and lots of primers, and you get to sort of get closer to Bill and uh, get the insider's edge that, that he brings. All right, Bill, Ben, thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you for having much. us, Jan. Appreciate it.